So we noticed today on PCGM via Facebook, someone was actually asking, what is deleting and what sort of performance effect or what sort of effect in general does it actually have on your processor? So deleting simply means removing your IHS, the little square thing on top, which is also known as the integrated heat spreader. Now what this thing is actually is where all the whole engraving of your particular CPU specs like the i7, the i3 or any, anything else like it could be the i5 or, or even a Pentium and removing that thing here from your whole CPU die and replacing the whole thermal interface material with a different compound. But do take note though, deleting number one could automatically void your warranty and there is a quite high chance if you don't do it right, your processor might just go poof. But at this point of time, if you're still watching this video, then you're probably up for it. Well, you obviously need some basic tools and materials like the RT Clean Thermal Remover and Purifier the Cool Labs Liquid Pro Thermal Interface Compound and a brand new thermal paste which is the Arctic Cooling MX4. Now, if you're a little paranoid about the heat spreader coming off, then use any variants of high temp silicon and not forgetting our trusty box blade. Now, all of this only cost us approximately 150 ringgit. Now, for this little project that we're doing, we're actually using the i5-6500 processor that we overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz and you can check out the video right here. Uh, we sort of overclocked the Nan-K processor on the Z-series motherboard as well and also we're using the ID Cooling 120L CPU cooler, so it's a pretty ordinary cooler, nothing really spectacular about it. And at the same time, we thought, you know what, hey, let's just go and replace the thermal paste on our little R9280X as well and see if there's any difference at all in temperature. So some pre temp benchmarks before we start. Now at 37 degrees minimum on idle and after about 10 minutes of stress test via IDA64, the i5-6500 was clocking at 63 degrees. Now with Furmark running at approximately 10 minutes at 1080p on the R9 280, we started off at 38 degrees and ended up at a max temperature of 80 degrees. Now some throttling was also observed as temps were starting to steam up towards 80 degrees. Alright, so let's go do some de work and of course replace the thermal paste on the R9 280X as well. Now after the deleting process, the i5-6500 was only running at a max of 52 degrees on full load via IDA64 after about 10 minutes of stress test. Well that's a good 15 degrees in reduction, that's pretty damn good considering how much we spent and we still retain the same voltage at 1.35 volts. The GPU though however did not see much difference in load at about only 2 to 3 degrees in reduction, but this could be due to the fact that we actually used Radeon Relive to record some benchmark clips 
which does also take up a bit fair of resources, hence resulting in higher temperatures overall. But as you can see, there's a pretty big difference when it comes to the i5-6500 processor in terms of idle and also load temperature. But if you look at the R9-280X, not much difference were observed pre and post replacement of thermal paste. But this could be due to the fact that we're actually using AMD Radeon Relive and what's, what happens is if you use that particular software that's built in for your GPU, it sort of hogs up lots of memory, but we sort of use that to actually record our footage as well. Now, I would think that if we don't use that and use a capture card instead, then we might actually get a much lower temperature both on idle and load. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this little video. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked this video or if you found this video helpful. Remember, deleting your processor will definitely void your warranty and there's a chance of your processor going kebaboom. It's not going to work. So. Uh, be sure of that as well. And you know what? Any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to leave some links where you can actually get the materials as well in the description box as well. And you know what? As usual, I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.